So one day, and I was living in this town called Grand Prairie, and it was a rough town, and there were lots of rough bars in it, and lots of young men in there with plenty of money and plenty of... They come in for three days after being out minus 40 weather, working right. on the oil rigs, and they were ready to party, man. And we had a party one night in this kind of frat house that I went to college in, and way too many people showed up, and some of them were real troublemakers. And we had a table that was pretty full of beer bottles and vodka bottles, and one guy just went over and like, tore the leg off and knocked the table over, and then a bunch of us got together and chased them all out. This friend of mine said, oh, they'll be back. And so he went upstairs and he put on some steel-toed cowboy boots. It was just like a bloody western. He came marching down the stairs. Just as he entered the living room, there was a big knock on the front door. It was these hooligans coming back to cause grief. And he didn't break stride. He opened the door. He pulled open the door. And there was a guy standing there ready to fight. And he kicked him underneath the chin with his steel-toed cowboy boot, knocked him mm. right over the front porch. And, the, you know, and the battle was on. That was exactly what he was like. He was not naive. That made him able to deal with delinquent. 